How about, you want to know what his name is? Terrence Lynch, age 34. Occupation fireman. Uh, father deceased, he blew his brains out. Mother deceased, she drank herself to death. No, education, uh, high school, one year college. Nature of injury, his body is completely busted up. What about nature of accident? Well, he tried to do his job. Any more questions? Timothy Hutton is an angry New York folk hero and Turk 182, one of the new movies we're going to be reviewing this week. My, my brother, he's a fireman and he got hurt in the fire and uh he can't work anymore and see won't help him out nobody will listen our next film turk 182 is embarrassingly bad a laughably improbable story of a young man whose firefighter brother is wronged by the city of new york so he goes on a rampage to embarrass the mayor of new york and we're supposed to root for him well this film is so stupid i ended up rooting for the mayor <laughs> timothy hutton normally a serious young actor with good taste in movies plays the put-upon young man who is seen his brother rescue a little girl in a fire and get injured. But when Hutton files for a claim for hospital damages for his brother, the city finds out that his brother's been drinking before he saved the kid. That's against fire department regulations. So they won't pay him a cent. And that leads to Timothy Hutton confronting no less than the mayor of New York at an impromptu press conference. Mr. Mayor, somebody's life is at stake here. Yeah. Son, let's have it. What's it about? My, my brother, he's a fireman, and he got hurt in the fire. And uh, he can't work anymore. And see, he won't help him out. Nobody listens. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight now. You're telling me that they are ignoring the rights of a fireman of this city who was injured in the line of duty? That's not possible. No, that's what happened. Yeah. I mean, he was off duty. You know, we were at Hooley's. He was drinking when the kid came in and said there was... Drinking? Wait a minute. Oh. Drinking? I what mean, the whole, the, the, whole, the whole building was on right, fire. And Terry's the only one that was the right. who came now, in and said... You, come, that's you, come, you come waltzing in here with a sob story about a drunk? Yeah. Wait a minute. He ain't no drunk. My brother right. is not a drunk. Right. You go home and you take a shower and you comb your hair and you think about it. Let him go. Now, no mayor is going to act like that much of a jerk. I mean, it's just totally improbable, that scene. So right away, we don't believe this movie. But that's the premise that starts Timothy Hutton playing pranks on the mayor, interrupting his every public function by writing his brother's nickname and firefighter's badge number, Turk, that's his nickname, 182, that's his brother's badge mm -hmm. number, on subway cars and even on the Queensboro Bridge. Without any further falter off, I would like to say happy birthday to this Ready? great lady. The 59th Street Bridge, God bless her. Do it. What the hell's going on up there? Wait a minute. Jesus Christ, there's somebody up there. What? He says there's someone up there, up on the side. It's him. Oh, my God. Turk. Tom, Jimmy Lynch is 250 feet in the air. <laughs> Clearly, he is fashioning the most... The waves are somewhat hampered in their attempts to reach Lynch because apparently Jimmy Lynch has greased all of the lower girders. <laughs> Oh, sure, he's had plenty of time to grease all of the girders because they've only been guarding the place all day long. It's late in the movie. They know what's going to happen. Uh, and he's sure he's going to walk in with all these vats of grease. Not to mention his entire, his entire steeplejack uniform that he managed to attach unobtrusively to the top of the bridge. That's a preposterous scene, one of many in this film. And if you see this picture, you're going to spot an obvious gaping flaw in this film because for at least three quarters of the movie, no one in the city of New York, this is the guts of the movie, no one to figure out who this mysterious guy is that's riding Turk 182 on subway cars and all that. No one knows who it is. Not even, and here's the flaw, Timothy Hutton's own brother, who's in the hospital, his nickname is Turk, and his badge number on his firefighter's helmet is 182. He wasn't injured that badly that he can't remember his nickname. And when I saw that mistake, I was in the theater, I was going to jump up and say, look at what the mistake this movie's making. Let's raid this film. Let's tear the screen apart. 
<laughs> I gave up on the script at that moment because it isn't really trying to make sense. This film really infuriated me. I think you're right, Gene, and I think this movie takes a whole new meaning to the word the idiot plot. You know, this whole oh, yeah. thing we've had about movies that would end instantly if there were anyone in the movie who wasn't an idiot who could say, well, look, it's all obvious, and I've solved it's it, and the movie is in over. one minute, as soon as they realize that all he, once he gets to the mayor of New York, uh -huh. the mayor of New York is going to say, yeah, this guy was wrong. We'll look into it, and That's here right. we'll so settle the, the claim. The mayor wouldn't so, it's over. The mayor wouldn't do what he does in the movie. The guy wouldn't be able to do what he does End now. In movies like this, if we can become sympathetic with the character and be carried along with him, that can be a lot of fun. But nothing infuriates me more than a movie that wants my sympathy while insulting my intelligence. Yeah, well, this does constantly, and I'm telling you, this film is going to be on my worst ten of the year, no matter what happens. Okay, it's going to be right real it, high up. Engrave it right Kirk there. Kirk 182. I'm going to write it in my mind. Right armor your chair. I'll never Next forget the it. Movies. Hutt, we both both thumbs down on Kirk 182, an infuriating idiot plot starring Timothy Hutton, who is usually in better movies. And two 